So what's going on, fellers? Apparently they are now coming out. The journalists are big men. Ever since the Concord shutting down, these suckers EXE broke. They're calling gamers toxic, problematic, <laughs> toxic masculinity. Okay, you know what? Let, 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 let's actually check it out, right? Let's uh talk about Dustborn. So 11 people enjoying. That's a town right there, guys. That's a town. 35 people enjoying Concord before it shuts down tomorrow. It's shutting down tomorrow, guys. Let's go for two likes on the video. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because apparently, you see, a lot of these journalists are now big mad. And I want to show you guys a clip here. I want to show you guys what's going on. Because, uh, you know, next up is the BBC Samurai situation. Uh, we got the Captain BBC! You got that situation coming up. Desmond, Desmond not doing too hot. You got, uh, you know, you got the Star Wars situation where hearing that low pre-orders, low sales. So there's a whole lot of drama, man. And the monkey game, that monkey game killed it, bruh. 2.4 million peak and recently they said that 18 million units has been sold. Oh, shit. Oh. Yep, so you know what? Massive W for the gamers out there, for the toxic gamers, my bad, as uh, they uh, like to call us as. So yeah, it's gonna get crazy, guys. Put your seatbelts on, guys. Clench your butt cheeks. Let's actually get into this one. Shout out to the homie Smash JT for this one. Roll it. I find it interesting that anytime there's a game that's promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion, yeah. or pushes a narrative or an agenda, or it seems yeah. to have a lot of. As a brown man, I demand my representation. Where's my representation at, man? As a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, bruh. As a brown man, I demand my representation, bruh. Arxist properties around it and just these strange things that all seem to surround a game that we have the vast majority of the establishment, games, media, journos seemingly attaching themselves to the game and propping it up because it helps push their narrative forward. Mm -hmm. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And today, we're going to talk about the downfall of Concord and yeah, the absolute... It coping and seething that is occurring right now on social media all the journalists right now are looking like this bro <laughs> and the concord yo this is perfect so this exactly it's one of the posts that the character does in concord when we all saw that we were all looking like this but apparently now they are looking like this right so yeah it, it'd be what it'd be man and right now all the gamers are like hey man you know what we y'all got any games <laughs> Y'all got any game coming out? Y'all got any players, bro? Yeah, that would have been more more accurate. Y'all got any players? But you see, 35 people are enjoying this game, and this app, the, and we're hearing that this app has been retired and is no longer available on the Steam Store. Damn, man, that's a small town worth of people, man. Y'all suck is really gonna annihilate, nuke a small town like that? Y'all suck is crazy, man. Like y'all suck is crazy. But uh oh, coping and seething coming up with the absolute meltdown from a number of these games journalists that just can't seem to cope with the fact that their baby, Concord, couldn't hack it. Like I said prior, this guy looks like my Kung Fu instructor. He does, but my Kung Fu instructor never smiles, and he smiles a lot. <laughs> I love it, man. Keep smiling, brother. Keep smiling, man. I want all my gamers, home, gamers homie, homies to be smiling, man. And you know what? This is the only thing that can bring everybody together bro like i swear to god man gamers never get along bro but this is the only situation on which everybody gets along love to see it man love it to just see can't it. seem Wait to cope it. with the fed subscribe give me a like and check out smashjt.com for the full article breaking down the amazing coping and seething from games journalists we're gonna kick it off with the big guy himself jason schreier from bloomberg who said Every time a live service game with no hook or strong word of mouth fails to penetrate an oversaturated market, the most annoying people on the planet will be there to blame diversity. Oh yeah, because we're so annoying blaming it on the actual reason as to why the game failed. Like, you can't tell me that Concord did not have strong word of mouth. You could not turn anywhere on social media without seeing its name somewhere. Now, Jason Schreier really saying that? Bro, I thought he was a gaming journalist. Like, he should have known better. Bruh, like, what the the hell like minus the whole crap like from okay tell me from which angle tell me from which angle this game looks like it's fun from which angle does it look like it's fun this game has been in development for eight years damn it and these things have wasted a hundred million to 200 million us dollars of sony bro like holy crap i mean I, I, listen man i didn't think it was gonna happen but the fact that sony is now issuing refunds and they're talking about giving everybody refunds now to be fair though it's not that many people that bought the game so it's like <laughs> it's in their it's in their good interest to refund the gamers right that bought the game right and preserve their image absolutely right but but like crap 
these seconds, Sony was like, nah, man, we're just gonna cancel it. We're gonna refund everybody case closed, right? Y'all seconds have wasted Sony's money like that, bruh. If it was Microsoft, bro, Microsoft would have been like, okay, you know what, like, <laughs> out, <laughs> out, we're gonna fire everybody. So yeah, so far what we're hearing is that Sony's not firing the devs, but they're shutting down their game, right? I, I think they're probably gonna like put them to make like another game. And right now we're getting like another game, Fair Games, from Fair, yeah, Fair Game, that's the name of the title coming from Haven, which we talked about yesterday. It's like Conquer 2.0 right now. So yeah, maybe this like is gonna work on that. Maybe Sony's not gonna learn. Cause if it was Phil Spencer, he would be like, ah! <laughs> that's what phil spencer was gonna do bro phil spencer already did it ever since he acquired activision for microsoft <laughs> he fired 1900 devs after saying that they're gonna make a good place for the devs man it's gonna be amazing devs gonna love it the day he acquired he's like let me fire all of you seconds out there bro like crazy guy man crazy guy and of course we talked about it Sigas went gang gang as well and Sigas did go crazy and yep like a lot of people were looking like this when Phil Spencer did that right he was like we're gonna make a good environment for the devs man it's gonna be really good ends up firing 1900 devs bruh, bruh. I mean bruh. bruh typically it was in a negative light obviously because it wasn't getting anyone playing it but still you think any attention in this modern era of social media is good attention where people would want to look at it be curious like oh i haven't heard of this game everyone's talking about how no one's playing it i wonder why let me look more into this and then learn about it and then think oh that character has a pony pony okay that's actually something i want to play and then go play it not a pony i mean a tail but that didn't happen because people watched it. They saw how it was injected with DEI. They saw how it was pushing an agenda and a narrative. And they saw that it's nothing that they wanted in their life. So they didn't play it. So yeah, you can go ahead and say, oh, there's no hook and nobody really talked about this game. But the advertising budget for this game was out of this world. This game was plastered everywhere. It just wasn't good. And it's something that I've been saying since before it even came out. The gamers wouldn't want to play this. But that doesn't stop most of social yeah, media from gamers, parroting huh? exactly what Jason said. Because everyone looks at him as the respected media guy that if they say what he's oh, I'm, I'm shocked right now bro i'll be the first one to say i'm shocked like the fact that jason is not getting that damn man i thought jason would have been better than that i i thought that he would understand like why gamers are not buying and playing 40 dollars for that piece of trash are you kidding me man are you kidding me bro 40 dollars bro that's i can go to china right now i can get that sucker for free bro like damn normally i would say two pennies and i would be back with a penny in hand and I could get that for a penny in China. But like, nah, bro, like for a game like that, I would be, I would be paid to play this trash, bro. Sigus should be paid to play this trash. All these 35 people are playing this game. They should have been paid to uh, put their time in playing this game. What are we talking about? These suckers crazy. He says, then they're gonna be with the cool kids. We got Ash Parrish from The Verge quote tweeting it saying, let's tap the F out of its sign, please, which was retweeted by Kotaku's Alyssa Mercante. They all parrot the same mentality, thinking that this is the reason why Concord failed, because the people who are saying, oh, diversity's bad, that's why the bigots are winning and taking these games down, when in reality, the game was not good, and the yeah. injected diversity mm -hmm. only hurt its chances. There was nothing new. Yeah, like, even without the wool crap in it the game sucked the game was garbage it's belong it belongs only in one place and it belongs in the garbage it belongs in the garbage Ooh, no hook nothing special about it and then you have some of what would be the ugliest characters that i've seen in gaming history as the selling point of why people should play the game you tell me who the hell is gonna take up that buying proposition and as paris continued how many smaller projects were killed in the cradle to throw money at this live shoot They spent a hundred million to two hundred million US dollars. We're not talking about like Bumblecloud Jamaican dollars, okay? I love my Bumblecloud homie, I love my shout out to Jamaica. But but you gotta understand that smaller project, hundred million US dollars, smaller project, PlayStation exclusive, smaller project. Okay, hundred million dollars. That's a smaller say okay, that's a smaller title, okay. Okay. Scooter, BS. These like spent eight years making that game. Yeah, smaller project, right? My ass. It didn't last longer than my last effing period. I think she thinks she's like really witty with talking about like really gross shit on social media. That this is something that is like, oh, that's that's funny because it's edgy. When in reality, it's just gross. Like, what kind of tweet is that? To be clear, this ain't on the folks at Firewalk. This is a, a professional journalist, okay? 
<laughs> ain't. To be clear. Yeah, it's on Toxic Gamers, right? Yeah, absolutely. Bruh. This ain't on the folks at Firelock. Bruh. They did what they could. They did what they could. <laughs> the professor that gave pronouns to a robot and made ambiguous looking characters that we couldn't tell if they're a boy or a girl. They did what they could. It's just infuriating that folks were yelling Dang. at Sony when it announced its pivot to games as a service. A so the character really did jump? Holy. Let me it's see that jump again. It's just infuriating that folks were yelling at Sony when it announced its pivot to games as a service a couple years ago like, I don't know about this, champ, but here we are. And then for whatever reason, she felt the need to clarify about her period and follow that up with, for social media purposes, no, my periods are not three weeks long, but they definitely feel like it sometimes. <laughs> I feel like this is like the left can't meme. The left doesn't understand comedy. This is like exhibit A for that. This is like embarrassing trying to be funny and using something gross and thinking that you're being witty when in reality, it doesn't make any sense at all. And then we have illustrator Aurora Hack being retweeted by Kotaku's Caroline Petit. Absolutely hate knowing this will undoubtedly come with a swing of the axe on people's jobs, all to protect a handful of money people People who force bad decisions and poor market reads onto a dev team who knew better. Okay, so what exactly did Sony force onto Firewalk Studios, who literally was creating a team shooter game, and yeah. that's why they bought Firewalk Studios? Sony did not go to Firewalk and say, oh, whatever you guys are doing, nope, change that up. We don't want you to do that anymore. You're going to do this because that's where we make money. No, that's why. So Sony was like, yeah, bro, like, we want that. You know, we want that. <laughs> And, and right now, this is Sony. This is Sony's reaction. I'm pretty sure, like, losing a hundred million US dollars, man. Damn, man. Like, that feels bad. If you ever lost, like, a hundred dollars, you know, that, that feels bad, right? Yeah, I, I, I've been there, man. When I lost my, my money, I, I felt bad. But a hundred million US dollars. Oh, man. That, I'm pretty sure that was not even on the bingo cards of PlayStation and Sony, man. Damn, man. Damn. Sony usually makes that much money with their bigger ips right like back in the days like with uncharted spider-man games right these like spent like 200 to 300 million dollars on spider-man i believe it kind of broke even they didn't make too much too big of a profit but it still made profit on spider-man and i guess understandably and rightfully so and in the long run it's probably they're gonna make but when you spend 300 million dollars on making a game like spider-man you would expect it to make you even more right and i guess in the long run it will it will make right but my point is that back in the days like they wouldn't be spending that much money and they would be generating more than 100 million US dollars in profits. Simple times, life was simple. Games were amazing too back in the days, right? Now they, they drop crap like that and they lose that much money. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're probably looking like that guy too and from the- It's only bought Firewalk because that's the game they're working on and it fit in the line with their theory of that's where the money was gonna be. So yeah. don't give me that the devs were forced into this when this is exactly what they wanted to do and we all knew it was gonna fail. GameSpot managing editor Tamar Hussein, this game was doomed to failure. Unfortunately, Sony is more, t I think he means more, Sony is more interested in the business model more than the game and the timing on it couldn't have been worse. It's a real shame since it was clearly well made. No. I agreed with everything except I didn't see that coming. It was well made, he said. He said it's well made. I don't know if he understands Urdu or not, but Tamur bhai yaar chhod do na yaar. Kya kar rahe ho yaar? Yaar in logon ko bachon ki tarah mara hai saron ne milke. Yaar kya kar rahe ho yaar? Aisa 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 chalta hai. Ya well made ye kon kehta hai yaar? Zara ye chutiya samjha kya hame? Yaar hame ye pagal bana rahe ho kya kya soch kya soch rahe ho kya samajh rahe ho? Main pagal chutiya samajhte hu main kya? Well made, yeah, you can't say Larry, you're a band, you're a little bit of a little I, I don't know if you understood that, but if you did understand that, bro, like, it's not well made. I agree with you on this one, but well made. Bro, this is well made. This is what you call well made, bro. Well made, well made. We saw the gameplay too, man. Well made, guys, well made. Eight years, man. 100 million US dollars spent on it, minimum. Well made, well made. It's a real shame since it was clearly well made. No, here's the thing. It was not well made. It had the ugliest characters in the world. The gameplay was well very made. basic and generic where you can play well any of these other hero shooters that were a better experience for free. Everything about this game screamed stay away, yet you are here trying to defend it. Well made. Well made, guys. Never forget. Well made. Well made. IGN editor Matt Kim. Eight years to make, a week and a half to succeed. Great system we've got. I don't know, I kind of pin that more on the fault of Firewalk Studios for spending eight Bruh. years to eight make years. the most generic, basic hero shooter game with the ugliest characters you could have. And, and you know what, like, you're probably lost hope in games 
and inhumanity. I get that, but you want to lose even more? I got you, brothers. I got you. Apparently, what we're hearing is that Deathborn was also... They also took eight years to make. <laughs> yeah, this piece of trash was... They, these seconds took eight years to make. But the only, I guess thing that's going on for them is that these like did not use their own money they use taxpayer money <laughs> so they use taxpayer money to fund this game no, uh, norway funded this game 150,000 euros was uh, given to dustborn devs to make this uh, piece of trash man man okay but but you know with concord sony lost the money dustborn they're like okay whatever bro like we're strong and we're independent. We're using taxpayer money, man. Shit, man. Like, that is just a massive slap on the, 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 the Norway taxpayers, man. Like, And then crap, think man. that this That's is going crap, to be successful bro. when all along the ride up to release, I was saying this is going to fail for the exact reasons that it failed. Then we have Forbes writer Paul Tassie, who has been a big fan of Concord on social media and is trying his best to cope with this one, posted earlier, PlayStation's Concord appears to have made one million dollars. And this is before the news came out that Concord was being shut down. So he's got to eat his words here. This is a journalist that was trying to push a narrative so that more people would buy the game. Then we have the former writer Hayes Madsen from Kotaku saying, can't think of a single time we've seen a game taken down this close to launch. And God, is it depressing for the entire state of video games right now feel awful for this team they are in solidarity you know oh i wish we could just make it work and people would buy it sticking with this team because the team echoes the same exact values that you do it's not that the game is good it's not that there's anything groundbreaking about it it's not that the characters have anything special going on with them it's literally because their ideologies align with yours that you feel like these people should continue to have jobs and that's not how a business operates then we have to talk about our good friend nick calandra over at second wind who chimed in saying like the gameplay of concord thought that might be enough to carry it forward, but was not expecting the launch to be this bad. Hope the studio doesn't get gutted, as there's clearly talent there. There's clearly talent there. It's well made. There's clearly talent there. Okay. Yeah, there's a uh, talent there, guys. Okay, all right. This coming from a guy that, as Frost claimed to be, someone that accepted backroom deals to give good reviews on games <laughs> is now trying to tell everyone why he felt like the game was good. Yeah, that's oh, someone shit. you should trust. Then we gotta move on to Ryan Easby, the freelance writer that said Grums should never feel safe. Of course this Bruh. guy has something to talk about with Concord. Damn, man, like, and y'all like just blame gamers for sending heaven proposals. Y'all call gamers toxic. This man is like sending heaven proposals in broad daylight to Grubs! He's sending heaven proposals right, right there. <coughs> Parroting Jason Schreier, he says, Oh my god. This is wild. Has this ever happened before? Eight years. Eight years! Like, these people cannot grasp the concept that time does not equal a good game. A good game- So he, he's saying that from the perspective of, hey, they, they spent eight years, so they deserve everybody to play their game. But gamers look at it and they're like, bruh, like this second like, this junk so trash how is it even possible that y'all like, spent eight years and it looks like this right it's so trash but he's like yeah they spent eight years man they, they, they deserve better bro time does not equal quality man that's clear right there I, i'm not sure yeah for for eight years man like what were they doing sniffing each other farts were they doing like helicopters with their woolies what were they, what were you yeah well like exactly what were y'all like, doing for eight years for eight years you would expect like a miracle you would expect like a massive title you would expect a game similar to gta right like or okay at least half half of gta at least even half of a quarter of gta a quarter of that would be better than the concord situation if these things put the same level of effort a quarter amount of effort if they even put 25 percent of the effort as rockstar games would yeah it would have we would have been better off but okay yeah it's well made guys it's well made there is talent there. What have you learned so far? Game is based off well, of I mean, a good it, idea, a good experience, good follow through, good creation of that experience and idea that they were supposed to follow through on. Not, hey, there's a game over there doing this and it's making a lot of money. Let's do that same exact thing and try to take some of that pie. And then we have a journalist from IGN named Stella saying, my heart breaks for fire. Bumblecloud. Bumblecloud right there. The fact that it wasn't given at least six. <laughs> Six months. If this game was given six months, it would have probably had two people playing by the end of it, bruh. Like, it ain't even about that. It, it, Sony would have lost even more money keeping the servers up 
You know what I mean? Like, they would have lost even Sony shuts down Shooter Game Conquer after just two weeks. Rip. <laughs> Why am I even saying rip? It don't even deserve our rest in peace. The fact that it wasn't even given at least six. Okay, so what have we learned so far? Well made. Eight years. They deserve better. There is talent there. It should have been given at least six months, bruh. Like, Sony would have lost even more money. So, Sony was like, nah, bro. Like, it's better off. When you got PlayStation... Listen, I do play on PlayStation, okay? But when you got PlayStation themselves issuing refunds... Because you know Sony don't like refunds, bro. That's the last thing they want to do ever, period. You know, Sega's were shocked when they were started, they started to give out refunds for Cyberpunk when that came out. Right now, of course, it's, it's in a better spot, but I'm talking about launch day, right? It was so bad that they pulled out from the PlayStation Store and they're like, we're going to give everybody refunds, right? People did not see that coming. Sony don't like refunds, okay? But Microsoft, yeah, they give it. I, I guess I, I, I don't have Xbox, so let, let me know if you play on Xbox. Let me know how that works, but... From what I can recall, Xbox, Microsoft, still, they have a better policy in terms of refunds. It's probably going to be similar, if I'm not mistaken, but what I'm hearing is uh, probably better. Steam probably has the best offer, right? Steam is the best, right? Two hours, and you can always... You can try the game out for two hours at the very least. But Sony, they don't like it. So the fact that Sony is now shutting this game down, shutting this trash down, and giving everybody refunds... Holy crap, that was not on my bingo card, bruh. So yeah, for six months... <laughs> Oh man, it's uh, they would have lost a couple more millions keeping the servers running for that long. So Sony did a right move right there, right call there. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We got a whole lot of drama going around with GTA 6. Check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man.